Hello and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today I have some really cool pens to show you. These are Derwent Graphic Line Painter pens and straight off the bat you know they're going to be brilliant because they've got the Derwent name and Derwent only ever produce top range quality stuff. So yeah, brilliant right from the word go. Um, but what are these pens? Um, what are these pens? What makes them different to any other pen? Well, instead of being filled with ink, they're filled with paint. Very, very opaque, water-based uh, pigment paint. So you are getting very bright, very vivid colours and very juicy flow from the pen whilst having the big draw that they are only 0.5 millimeter tips so you have all that juicy lovely color but you have the precision of the very very tiny nibs now there are four packs in total to collect uh, each pack has five pens inside so 20 in total and i'll just start off with pack one and we'll go through the colors so pack one opens up it shows you on here with the ticks which colours are in this particular pack and it shows you how to activate the pens when you first get them which is really simple you just shake the pen uh, take the lid off and use a pump action to bring the ink down into the nib really easy and yeah now the names this is a really cool thing about the pens and i'm probably a bit sad for loving this so much but i do love pens that have really cool names and each name of each pen um sort of goes with the color and you'll know what i mean as i as i uh, continue to show you so this particular pen is a yellow and it's called brick road so for obvious reasons yellow brick road you won't be able to see that very well, obviously, it's a really light colour. This one is called Tom. Now, obviously, people might know that cats, ginger cats, are called ginger toms, so orange cats. This one is red and it's called herring, red herring. And as you can see, they flow amazingly well. I mean, there's no line breaks, there's nothing, you know, it's all very consistent. Now this one is called Paradise. And this very light pale green is called Minted. So that's pack one and I'll just grab pack two should mention that these come in these lovely plastic wallets to keep them all separate and keep them all nice and they do need to be stored horizontally so that the paint can you know constantly be in contact with that nib inside uh, this one is called brick lane is a very dark sort of reddish brown it's obviously light bricks this one is called MV green MV green with MV I should say and just while we're doing these colors it's worth mentioning that these colors are quite um, unusual they're not you know it's not a perfect red it's not a perfect blue it's not a perfect orange they are sort of to very tonal um, unusual shades that you would not really find um, in most sets of pens so this one's called clockwork orange uh, this one's called high Some of them I haven't really got, I haven't really grasped the meaning yet, like high blue, does it mean high in the sky? I don't know. Um, this one's called Brilliant, Brilliant Blue. And then we move on to pack three. And we have, this one is called Blood. And it really is probably exactly the same shade as actual blood so I can see why they called it that. <laughs> this one's called Tickled, Tickled Pink. 
Now I've only just whoops, activated these pens um, this afternoon, purple ring, um, and I have not pumped them or used them since and you can see that the line is really consistent, it's not breaking up on me, um, Billy, and yeah they're just really juicy with an even consistent flow. This one's weird, fingers. And it's like a, a very light olive green. Strange, <laughs> but funny. And this last pack, pack four, is your grey is black and there is a white, which is great. I should mention these are really, really opaque and they're brilliant on um, dark paper, black paper. They show up really well. This one's black magic. And we've got Silver Fox. This is the only metallic in the whole set. The rest of them are matte. And this is Snow. This is your white pen, so you won't be able to see this, but I'll just put it down anyway. Now, the great thing about these pens as well are that they are permanent. So you can colour with them and when they are dry and they're actually really fast drying as well um, when they're dry you can go over them with another colour and it will not affect the first colour that you've put down you can go over them with water if you spilt some water on them they're not going to bleed they're not going to fade they're completely permanent so yeah brilliant in that regard as I said they are just put these back they are really, really fine nibbed, so perfect for the intricacies of adult colouring. And I will just demonstrate that here. So, as you can see, getting into really small spaces, but the colour is very juicy and very, very bright and vibrant. So pretty much ideal. Those of you who use Uni Posca pens, will be familiar with these, these types of pens, paint pens. And you will know that there are a few negatives to them, which, as you can see so far, haven't made any difference. But sometimes if you over pump the nib, so if your nib goes a bit dry and you want to get some more paint on there and you over pump it, there will be an ink flood. Um, this whole area will fill with ink and it will drip on your page. So you've got to be really careful with them. Um, and just watch how you handle them really treat them well and they will treat you well <laughs> but saying that there are some really cool effects you can make when you purposefully flood the nib which i'm going to try and demonstrate for you now but you can guarantee it won't do it so i'm going to flood the nib ah here we go and as you can see a big glob of pink has come out now you can either use this to make effects obviously not on this kind of picture but if you just you know drawing and doodling you can make some really cool effects. You can blow to make some effects. You can even get loads of ink on the nib like this. I don't know if you can see that. And then blow it from here to create spatter effects. How cool is that for backgrounds, specifically um, creating space backgrounds? I can see that being really cool. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're just brilliant, really. They're so versatile. You've got this absolutely beautifully thick, um, vibrant paint with beautiful colours. And yet you've got this precision of the really tiny nib, which is perfect for adult colouring. And... Um, Oh yes, another thing I didn't mention is that if you've got a water brush or a paintbrush dipped in some water, you can use these as a wash. Obviously that started to dry there, so it's not as good. 